Now, this is what you have to say to him. Mr. Hargrove, I've served the firm for five years, all but eight weeks, Mr. Hargrove. And I think Mr. Staines would answer for me that I'd served it loyally and devotedly. I'm only eight weeks short of the five years, Mr. Hargrove, and so I hope that you'll make an exception in my favor as regards making up the salary. If you could overlook the eight weeks. Thank you, Mr. Hargrove. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it very much, Mr. Hargrove. I'm, uh, I'm happy to say that anybody who's been with us five years will have the difference between his salary and his army pay made up by, uh, by the firm. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you sir. very much. Appreciate Not at all. It's only right, and the firm is happy to do it. Ah, oh, yes, of course. Wilson, I'm sorry about it. Just eight weeks short, but a rule, you know, a rule is a rule. And if I were to make an exception in your case, it would mean that somebody who'd been with us four years, short of two months, would think he had a claim. You do see what I mean, don't you? Oh, yes. Yeah, and... Then uh, someone who'd only been with you three years would... Exactly, and yeah. the firm simply couldn't afford it. Oh, no, sir. It would work out at... Uh... Let me see now, what would it work out Yes, at? exactly. You've got a head on your shoulders, and I can tell you this. We're extremely sorry to lose you, but with your sane point of view, you're bound to get on, even in the army. The Navy, sir. No, the principle is the same. And remember that your job will be waiting for you if you come back. Uh, when you come back. Goodbye, Wilson. You don't want to fight, but by Jingo, if you do, eh? Come and see us when you're on leave. Come on, hurry up. She won't eat you. Poor little Cathy thinks everything you say and do is wonderful. All you've got to do is to go in and give her a great hug and say, Look, old lady, or sweetheart, or what have you. Look, dear, it's bad news, but it isn't going to get us down. We've got to look at the silver lining. It's always darkest before the dawn. And there's 97 pounds 10 in the savings bank. Well, I'm going into the Navy tonight. So this is what we do, my girl. You put on your bonnet and out we go. And we blew the odd seven pounds, ten on a farewell dinner and a bottle of champagne. Cathy, I didn't get it. He wouldn't. But you've been there nearly five years. Yes, nearly, but not quite. Oh, Robert, how mean. You see, the rule's a rule. I'm sorry. Oh, well, never mind. We've got nearly a hundred pounds, and anyway, the war can't last forever. Oh, no, it'll be over by Christmas. Anyway, we'd better hurry. I've only got to lock the bag. What's that? It's a sponge bag for shaving things and things. Kathy, it's lovely. I don't expect many of the other sailors will have one. I'll put some sandwiches in your case, top left-hand corner. Thank you. You don't have to change, do you? No, I don't think so. The insurance policies in the top drawer of the desk. The keys under the clock. I think you'd better wind it every day. Oh, there's a seat. All right, mate. Oh. oh, thank you very much. Exeter, Exmouth, Oakhampton, Long. Oh, Cathy, your present. I nearly forgot. Oh, thank you, Robert. Hurry along there, please. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Bye. Mind your back, please. Bye. Bye. Mind your... Never speak to her again. Never, never, never. For once in your life, you've told her exactly what you thought of her. Good. Good. Blinding, blithering conceit. <laughs> she didn't expect that. Overbearing, impossible ego. You didn't expect that, did you? Not that it's true, of course. Ego? Ego? Why, you've never had enough ego. Always thinking of others. Well, that's that. Relax now. You know exactly where you are and exactly where you're going. Exactly. Where are you going? 
Left? No, surely not. Lennox Gardens. Don't be absurd. Not left. Forward. That's it. Forward into the future, alone and unafraid. The past is dead. Well, what are you doing? Oh, of course. You're going to collect your gear. Now, remember one thing. No climbing down. No weakening. Just a quiet, dignified entrance. Perhaps a charming, distant smile. If she's there, of course. A kindly smile. A little bit better than that. Come to think of it, it's remarkable how much a human being can change in three and a half years. Remember Cathy in the old days? What a funny-looking little thing she was. And you gave her the best years of your life. Come on now, pull yourself together. And don't forget, if she's there, be firm, distant and determined. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to bother you. I wasn't asleep. I just came from her thing. Do you remember those high walls that used to make the room so dark? Yes. They've gone. Well, you've certainly got the view you always want. Miles and miles of it. But, oh, Robert, the desolation. Poor old London. Well, we've just got to build it up again. That's all. It'll take years and years. Well, what does that matter? We're young. 